The Trinity Long Room Hub is delighted to welcome uh, uh, Professor Roy Foster back to Dublin to deliver the second annual Burke Lecture. Ireland is celebrating a decade of commemorations and Roy, as Ireland's leading historian, is ideally placed to reflect on how 1916 and the events that it uh, resulted in should be uh, commemorated and remembered uh, in the 21st century. In Ireland we know that we have different memories about everything um, and that we, we contest our memories with each other. Ireland has a conflicted history, memory is a conflicted territory. When we get into the public endorsement of memory, when the politicians take over and decide to uh, direct and choreograph how we remember something and this has happened not only with 1916 but with the famine and with 1798. When the politicians get into the act I think we have to be very careful indeed. The Easter 1916 Rising was the foundational act if you like of what became eventually an independent Irish state but there are difficulties again to do with memory because the leaders of 1916, the signatories of the proclamation, were executed. We have no way of knowing if the Ireland that emerged was the sort of Ireland they wanted. We have no way even of knowing how many of them would have voted for the treaty or against it. And that means that people can put whatever complexion they like upon their memories. The revolution happened, as I've often said, not only in the GPO, it happened in libraries and theatres and university lecture rooms. And I wish I could see that part of the effort and money that's going into commemoration would go into preserving Ireland's admirable public institutions of learning, which have come under very, very heavy siege over the last few years. I think that would be a very worthwhile way of remembering the revolutionary generation.